Welcome to Gallery Acoustics Recording Studio. I'm your friendly host, Dr. Meikenstein. This is going to be the first in a series about recording that I will present to you weekly on Thursdays in the morning. We're going to build a three-dimensional arena. I will discuss some recording techniques and check out Lightning Boy Audio. Good stuff. We're going to just record uh, maybe a verse and a chorus, uh, something that I'll just make it up as we go, and hopefully it'll be cool in the end. So we're going to go for like a, a rock sound. We're going to start by recording rhythm guitar through a basic triple record. This is the distortion that you're hearing. Um, when we bypass this pedal, it's just a clean sound. Uh, and this is just a prototype Lightning Boy audio pedal. 1x12 has a very focused sound though. Um, it's really powerful. Whereas a 4x12 is almost kind of sits in the background a little bit naturally in the mix. We're going to use a ribbon microphone instead of a, uh, a dynamic, a regular dynamic mic like an SM57. Because the 57 naturally has a very focused sound. Like I said, we're not trying to make a, fo a focus sound here because that would be like right in your face. Um, that's being reserved for lead vocals and, um, and lead guitar. We could use a solid state preamp, but uh, it's going to give us more of a focus sound than a tube preamp would. And we want this sound to be a little bit in the background. What we're going to use is the Lightning Boy Audio LB2A. It's a clone of the original. Teletronics LA-2A from the 1960s. It is an optical compressor, but it can be used as a mic preamp too, and it sounds very good. So we're going to use that, and we're going to just probably touch it with just a little bit of compression. From there, it has to go into an equalizer, mainly because ribbon microphones don't have a lot of high end. So what we're going to use is a passive EQ because it doesn't really impart any kind of sonic character onto this. This is one that I built by hand. Eventually going to be something for Lightning Boy Audio. It's a pretty cool EQ based on the Pultec. It's just slightly different. Mm -hmm. 